Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm checking out Red Hill Herodrome. It is the latest release by the team over there at Burning Blue Design. This is in fact their 12th airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. A big shout out to the team for hooking me up with a copy so I can show you some of the cool features that they've put together for this rendition of this airport. Now first of all as we always do let's go and compare the default scenery with the add-on scenery. Okay, so this uh, particular add-on has been brought up to 2022 standards. In other words, what you see right here is what it looks like right now if you went and visited the airfield. If you do live locally or have flown in and out of here, let me know what do you think about the job that the team at Burning Blue have done. Now, there's a couple of really cool little features that they've put into this particular release. I'm going to go through a couple of them here. I'm not going to spoil everything as usual, uh, but I'll show you a couple of things that really make uh, this a special little uh, general aviation airport. Now, of course, this is located... Uh, just four miles north of Gatwick Airport uh, and as I jump into the tower here they've done a really good job of modeling the inside of the tower look at this I love it this guy here he's having a look around man it's a vast little GA airport imagine mowing those lawns anyway we've got the uh, sectors up there you've got some of the charts and then you've got this little sort of camera view of the uh, of the aerodrome of itself a couple of folders there printer got to be done uh, and a nice little, uh, looks like a weather meter right there. So looking very, very cool. A 360 degree view here out of the tower. One thing you're going to notice is the range of static aircraft they've got here. Now this of course was used in World War II as many of these small aerodromes around Great Britain were. Uh, it actually trained some of the Spitfire pilots is my understanding um, and uh, helped out with the war effort back in the late 30s and early 40s uh, and it's got a bunch of different little static aircraft here that you'll notice if we pan around here it's also the home to the air ambulance service uh, incidentally also home to the national police service so this air ambulance right here it uh, services uh, Kent and Surrey and Sussex uh, hopefully I got that right but that's a cool little aircraft right there that helicopter they've put all the logos up on the building there so you get a good feel for what it actually looks like one thing i like about burning blue design is the fact that they have a bunch of different changing static elements and here goes a good example here we've got the people sitting outside the uh, pilot's lounge here having something to eat so if we just bring up our time up here and let's just move the time if we move back here towards the morning there we go a few people disappear uh, and then as we go back up here you can see that uh, some disappear some come back that sort of thing so you've got a changing environment which is uh, really really cool now uh, one thing you also see around here is they've got their custom uh, their custom wind socks they've got accurate runways all that sort of thing look very very cool one of the very very cool features that they've implemented in this release are these animated hangar doors so i'm sitting here parking spot seven in the hangar in my cessna 172 so let's grab that time again we'll go up here and grab it and let's just move it towards dusk as we move this across you can see as it gets towards night time you've got these hangar doors automatically closing um, which is very very cool now a good little feature that I've added in here is that you can go down here using my taxi light switch I press it there we go and they're opening up again so you can manually open and close these doors uh, otherwise they'll automatically open and close how about that very very cool little feature here on this aerodrome while we're at it you can uh, check out some of the night lighting here we've got those LED lights shining down on the apron it uh, doesn't look like it's got night lighting in terms of uh, flying into the aerodrome itself as you can see pretty dark so probably not something you want to do oh that moon's looking cool um, but certainly got this night lighting to be able to show uh, what's happening from around the hangars etc so looking good and you've got the city just right behind it there so very very close to the edge of the city there 
So there we go ladies and gentlemen, a quick look at Red Hill Aerodrome by Burning Blue Design, a ton of really cool little features, another great general aviation airport for you to get your teeth into, fly around the, uh, the UK from and uh, once again the team over there have done a really tremendous job, so thanks again to the team for hooking me up with a copy, I've put a link down in the description, go and check it out, go and support the developers, if you're into your GA flying this is another one of those must have airports, so Thank you very much for watching everybody, make sure you smash the like button down below and until next time everybody, take it easy.